Hey guys, Jess here from Knockout Print Shop and today I have for you my February reverse plan with me. So that's where we flip through my spreads from the past month to show you how I used my planner this month. So let's get started. This is a lot easier for me and less stressful than doing a traditional plan with me. Um, with traditional plan with me's, I tend to feel super stressed out. Like I forget things that I want to put on my planner and I'm so worried about talking and things. So anyways, this has been going so much better. I can kind of explain to you guys why I did what I did in different areas um, and just works better. So if you still want to see a regular plan with me, I would be willing to do those maybe once a month, but this is much more effective, I think, as well to watch. Anyways, I'm going to stop rambling. Okay, so look at my monthly spread, guys. So basically, I don't use my monthly spread much for anything besides my plant life because you can see all of my little plant icons everywhere. I do use it um, for birthdays and I use it for tracking when we have our launches, when we have sales and a few other things. So kind of I'll go through that with you. Pretty much I don't really use this section, the top five area in the month. I did use it for two things I wanted to remember to do um, this month in particular because I need to cancel our apartment lease because we're moving to Nashville and then I needed to book our Tennessee trip to Nashville which I haven't done yet so that's going to happen in March. Um, so that's really what I use that for. If there is something I need to remember that's monthly based once in a while I'll throw something over here but I kind of hate this and maybe I need to come up with a sticker to cover it up. Let me know what you guys use this for and if you would like to if you have ideas for what a sticker that could work here or something we could do to adjust this. Um, note section, I don't really use that much. I did use it as a key for my, um, using my transparent dot stickers. And I, what I did was the yellow transparent dot, that was the day we were going to have a sale. So if you go through here, you can see, and I was using one of our messed up sheets. A lot of times in my planner, I use the sheets that are like test sheets that we mess up. So I had a test sheet that didn't have enough yellow on it. So I ended up having to use a little gray one. Um, but that worked out kind of good. I liked that idea of like color coding a certain topic or thing and then going ahead and like putting the transparent dots over the dates that that thing was relevant. So if you're using the dots, that's I think a great way to do it, whether you're using it for maybe color coordinating your kids stuff, something with your business or work, um, events, stuff like that. Uh, let's see what else. So then obviously I have my urban jungle plant care on here. So basically what I do with these is I mark down which plant gets watered so that way I can kind of keep track of when they're being watered. I probably need a whole entire planner just for my plants because I'm obsessed with plants. So that's the other way I use that. Obviously I use it for birthdays. My friend's birthday was that day. So I put that down. I do use it. Um, I put these contact stickers on the monthly and the weekly. That way I remember. So the monthly, I kind of go through a few months ahead of time and just put it on every other week. And that way when I'm doing my weekly spread, I can refer back and go, Oh, do I need to change my contacts this week? It's a nice small sticker. So it fits really good there without, you know, cluttering up the monthly. My planter was clutters up my monthly. Um, the other thing I use this month was the little teardrops. This is to keep track of my training program. So as far as my workouts or exercise goes, we'd usually do four week programs. This just helps me remember, okay, we're on week three or one week four, I need to write a new program for us to do the next month. So that just helps me keep track of that. This little flag up here, I used to keep track of my online clients and where they are in their program. So for instance, my client, Sam, this was week one of her new program. I just write paid when she pays me. And then I must have forgotten. That's really a great example. I should have put down here her next week because this is when I just sent her a program this week. So that's what that's for. I just kind of use those or flag. They have enough writing space for me to write down the week that the client is on and when it's paid. Um, so I think these striped flags do work well in the monthly to do things like that, that, you know, just keeping track of different things that don't have a lot of text on them or need a lot of writing. Um, let's see what else. I used our little mini post-it notes for keeping track of my GMB training. My GMB training, it's like a body weight, calisthenics, locomotion, kind of fun play fitness thing that I'm doing. This was just to mark that I finished the eight week program and this is to mark when I'm starting their new program that's called Element, or sorry, Vitamin. So that's what I use those for. These fit great, the bigger ones fit great in here too, but I thought that would work well for that. And I think that's it. I'm really excited to use our new dividable washi next month to mark off sales. Maybe also, you know, using that to mark off when I'm planning a sale and then when we do have the sale, maybe marking off, um, you know, doing the dividable washi to connect these days to indicate that's how long the sale goes. So that's my monthly, guys. I don't use it a ton, like I said, other than keeping track of general things that happen, um, like 
plant care and fit my coaching stuff, things like that. So that's my month. All right. Lots of writing on my weekly. So this weekly, I, I think, yeah, this past, in February, I used a few different, played around with a few different layouts. So I created a priority header. We, this is not one we regularly offer in the shop as one of our regular um, headers, but I wanted that to see if I could focus on just like, this is my main priority, my main tax. Like, what do they say that? Um, what's that saying? Like, do the crappiest, shittiest task first. Isn't it like eat the frog or something like that? Anyways, I kind of thought, okay, instead of doing top three, let me try just priority. Like that's the number one thing I need to get done and the rest of these things can become to-dos. So again, this is not one we offer in the shop, but if you want a custom header, we do offer semi-custom, what we're calling it, semi-customization on headers. If you go to the semi-custom headers and boxes section on the site, you can order a bundle of four sets of these with whatever text you want on them. So that's little heads up in case you didn't know that. So I put the priority across the top, use just the script weekend and use the to do's in yellow. So I just use two colors, which is typically what I do. Um, so in here, I kind of just put my priority for the day. Monday, Wednesday, Friday is always orders for us. And I tried breaking it up by filling and shipping them. I have a tendency to like just put one word to describe um, the task at hand, even if the task has multiple parts. Like obviously with orders, we fill them, then we print, then we cut, then we ship. Um, I don't know if I need to like kind of itemize that list out, but I did try it here. Obviously we shipped orders. I just forgot to mark the X. Um, I don't know. I'm not really sure if that's a necessity for me to do. Haven't figured it out yet. We'll see. So let me know guys, do you, when you have a task like that, do you scale it out into like every little piece? Sometimes I think that works. Sometimes it doesn't depending on the task. Since this is kind of automated for us, I don't know if I need to, let me know what you do. Um, Tuesday's always design day. So we design a bunch of new listings and the arrows going over here because this day we took off to take the dogs to the beach. Thursday is kind of usually a random day, uh, catching up on stuff. And a lot of times what happens is Monday and Wednesday and Tuesday typically are like busiest, craziest, do as much shit as we can in the day thing. And a lot of times that this to-do list this Wednesday list and Thursday list all are Wednesday. I just kind of like basically need lots of room for Wednesday and I just put it over here. I could really care less of the date is wrong, but this usually is a one day list sometimes. Like I didn't do all of this on Thursday. I did all of this on Wednesday. Anyways, that's often what happens because Thursday tends to be like our get out of the house, do groceries, do all of our like adulting stuff. So, okay, those are my two sections. Then let's kind of go through here. So basically what I've gotten in the habit of doing, and this changes throughout the month, you'll see that I put the little circle dollar icon here to remind me to do my Monday um, financial things, balance our accounts, check our budget, do any PayPal transfers that I need to. Then I use the little um, post-it note to remind myself to send out our February newsletter. You can see I drew that there. I had another financial task I needed to do here that was separate from these things, which is to make a savings deposit transfer. So I used the hexagon bullet journal hexes that we have in the dollar sign. Um, used our little video camera icon to remind myself to send my client some video feedback, my coaching client. Use a little pen circle to remember to create and finish the password printable that we made. That when this video goes out, yes, it's going out with the newsletter for March, so that will be available. And then I use the computer icon just as a way to display to work on the batch for that week, batch 19's um, list of stuff, like input all the listings. So, and then we'll kind of go, I'll leave the daily boxes for the end. So then Tuesday, like I said, I didn't do as much stuff Tuesday, so this Monday list, another is like, the Tuesday here is a continuation because Tuesday we just went to the beach. So this is again kind of jacked up here. Um, so reflection email scheduled, I actually did that on Monday and scheduled Instagram post, use that little pen icon again that I actually did on Monday. So this was again a running list here. And then I just kind of went and put this little half box, took the dogs to Wilmington to the beach with the little paw icon and I wrote this week's highlight. Um, I did that because last month when I did my reflection sheet, I had a really hard time remembering what my highlights or memories were. So before I did what you'll see in the next spread, I kind of was writing in the highlights. So I would be able to flip through my planner and go, yeah, that was one of the highlights of this month. Um, Wednesday was crazy again, orders. Uh, I used the little skinny striped divider here. Matt and I had kind of an in-house meeting at 9.30. Uh, more review of client videos with the camera icon. Um, used the pen to say I wrote our new 
training program. Use a little asterisk bullet journal guy um, just to kind of say, remember, you need to do the content uh, to prep for batch 19. And then use the computer icon again to just write down that I need to plan the February releases and research for the spring sampler. So that was just kind of, this icon I think is good for when you're doing like research online, having to do some planning things, you're at your computer doing computer work. That's become a good catch-all for me for different things. Like I said, there's, this has pretty much all happened on Wednesday, even though it's on Thursday. Use a little camera guy to write down what we need to take pictures of for our products. Camera again to film my plan, planner videos. I use the bullet journal exclamation mark to remind myself to upload and edit the batch 19 video. And then use a little asterisk to remind myself to finalize the batch 19 email. So this is a little bit hodgepodgey, but sometimes I just like putting some kind of symbol to like bring attention to each individual task. I find that I like to write tasks using one to two lines. So I'll sometimes use a mini hex. I don't tend to use like checkbox flags as much anymore because I tend to write too big lately. Um, and then this was record podcast. We'll get to that later, but that's the podcast icon. Friday orders, use a little post-it note to do the batch 19. Just kind of wrote release day there. Um, mini hexes to write a couple tasks. Use the computer guy again to um, remember to edit a video, which I thought that was another good use of that sticker. Um, put a mini hex below it to remember to upload the video and check that off. And then just an explanation, exclamation point to remember to cancel my website renewal of another domain that I have. And then over here, Matt and I's lunch date and just a striped hexagon. And then we actually did, we don't usually eat out twice a week, but we did on this week and we went to brunch that day. So just use a half box, use my usual time to plan sticker. Let's go down here and then we'll go over. Um, use this first line of the daily boxes for kind of like cooking, baking type of things. We always make our dough for our sourdough Monday. We bake it Tuesday and I need to check our kombucha on Wednesday, um, which I actually don't even think I did until Sunday. So I don't even think I did that. Anyways, and then just over here, weekends, this side down here tends to not get used a ton, especially Saturday, Sunday, because we kind of do all of our work stuff this side of the planner, and this gets lighter as we go throughout the week. Um, Walking Dead was back, so I put that, water the plants, and then you can see this middle one here got used for my French practice, so I used the box with the hexagon here to write in how many minutes I practiced it, so I put it down. Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday was my, my schedule for this month of practicing my French on my Duolingo app, and then I just used a little hexagon to put how long I practiced. Um, little paw print for the doggy walk, some chore stuff in here. This was kind of a little bit more random and I need to remind myself for another baking, cooking thing down here. Somewhat used a this week checklist, just as almost more of a note section. I had to send a video to a client and need to make our new program. Then once we released these little grid guys to cover up the weekly focus, I started to use these to be kind of like my highlights, good stuff that happened that week. That way when I flip back to do my reflection, I can kind of go, oh, this is what happened. And it forces me to stop and go and think what good stuff happened this week. So it, it's almost like a little mini reflection, weekly reflection here. That's what I'm using it for anyways. So I just kind of wrote stuff down in a little grid. So that was week one. Oh, and then I put my... Um, contact guy there too to remember to change my contacts. So that was week one. Week two looks like a cluster, you guys. I, I don't know what happened. This just looks like insane crap. Anyways, we, you could see I changed the um, format. This was priority with to-do. I went back to to-dos here and didn't put a header here. I used our washi, so I obviously used our Valentine's Day sample and that must have just completely thrown me off because this looks absolutely insane. Um, used gray and then the like peachy pink color to do the headers here. Just use the banner that came in the Valentine's Day kit. And you can see I kind of have the like decorative stuff, which is fairly small. So I just kind of put it in different places. Um, I did use three heart, three heart check boxes, which I really like here to kind of do my top three. Um, again, I use the circle here to do my Monday um, financial tasks. Just wrote in here with good old pen. This is a design day. Use the pen here to talk about prepping a video. I booked my parents' trip to come here and visit us. Use the happy here. Again, Thursday tends to be a little lighter, so you don't see a lot of stuff going on Thursday. Then this second half here was kind of the rest of the to-do. So these are like the main things, and then this was like the other stuff. So um, email, or sorry, envelope icon for emails, a reminder to completely finish the printable, 
reminder here with the pen to do a blog post. And then I used these half boxes with icons for like the baking stuff. You can see that was down here last week and now I have it here to use these. So make dough, make bread, use the stripe half box and layered it with the camera icon to remind myself to film a batch video, camera for the picture video. Um, just use these little guys. Uh, this little asterisk to say I was playing around with some ideas. This star was a remind myself to send um, a customer something. And then I used our highlight strips. If I try to take these off, this is gonna jack the hell out of my planner. I used these in an example to kind of highlight these things. So I wrote on the paper, send Sam this, watch Sam's videos. These were my coaching things. So I was kind of like color coding without really actually color coding, just kind of trying to play with those things. Um, again, you can see that was indicating emails this week brunch. I used the pattern box. Uh, we went to um, a fellow fitness person of that I know, her gym in Durham. We went to her little gym party that day. This day I used a three hexagon flag for my top three because I didn't have enough of those. Um, computer guy, again, to do stuff that was computer based and another email pen used the email for that. Um, and then we have the time to plan. The flags, I kind of, that one this week to bring attention to the batch release. I used a flag. This was just kind of more decorative, my plant day here. Did the same thing for my French practice down here, just use it on the third line. This kind of became, oh, this is my workout line here for my workout program. Another water plants reminder, had to order a gift for a friend. And then I always put our meal plan and grocery. These are just like autopilot, even though I still use the stickers, but that's our meal plan day, grocery day. Needed to transfer some money, chore day. So this was like a cluster. And then I have my good shit section over here. And then just a couple reminders. So this was, I don't know. This was not the best spread of the, of the week or of the month. Okay, now we have last week, which again, we went with what we went with week one here where it was a priority on the top and the to-do on the bottom. I like this a lot better than this. So priority here. You can see those, use mini hexes to check it off. Um, dollar sign to tax prep. I did use alternated between three hard check boxes and three hexagon checklists for my top three things. And the rest just became kind of um, rant, you know, other to do's. I got this cool idea. I think a lot of people I see that use Passion Planner that I love when they make these hand drawn boxes around things. So I just put the icon, put the task, and put the hand drawn boxes. Help me. You know, with all these lines, sometimes I think I need to do all of the things. I need to fill this up with like 20 things. And sometimes when I go, no, like filming a video and doing all this stuff is going to take time. If I can make the make it look like it takes up more space, that'll help me just realize I can't do a million things. So I did that with film, with take pictures, and um, I did that with scheduling Instagram posts because sometimes it takes me some time. And I wanted to designate time to that, so I made it more substantial by doing a box around it. Um, Use this computer both days here to um, kind of keep track of when I did some InDesign training, Adobe InDesign. Uh, I had to call my new graphic designer, used a scallop box, overlapped it with a teardrop for the time, used a box here to say work on new listings. Again, another way for me to go, this is going to take substantial amount of time. Like, don't try to fill this whole list up. Um, again, financial thing used there. Work on monochrome bundles, which are coming soon, guys, are coming this month. Uh, use a pen and then block that out. Took some time to plan the collections for March and April. So again, I'm taking up more space so I know I can't do a million things. Reminding myself to text a client, obviously, uh, rent, bill due thing there. This week, I used this striped thin labels for my French and it used the same concept of putting in the time I spent on that. Um, over here, same kind of layout. Use this one to uh, talk about the batch. I did highlight this because this was a coaching task, writing my client's new program, and then used our arrows to bring attention to a couple other to-dos. Weekend, use a script banner. You can see the teardrops up here. This was for my GMB training again that I was talking about in my monthly view, just to remind myself, this was the last week of it, and I wanted to designate which days I was going to do it. Um, down here, similar thing. We got the the cooking kitchen stuff, bake dough or make dough, bake dough, bake bread, make mayo. We got kind of my workout health kind of section here and then um, different chores down here. So you can see that lunch date went in there, plan. And then this week, used a couple here for this week. And then I used the bullet journal arrows to indicate things that I need to remember to do next week. I kind of like that idea. 
Um, and then again, that was my highlights section here. And then you can see my little, this is our vertical grid paper um, in the 0.12 grid. And I kind of hand drew a little insert. I have my this week stuff notes in my daily tasks. Um, I'm gonna make a video on my thoughts on the difference between daily tasks and monthly habits and things like that. But I kind of like this layout. I'm gonna play around with offering something like this because I really think this was helpful for me to have this insert kind of pre-designed like that. So let me know if you guys like this or would like something similar to that. Um, okay, one more week and this video is like 20 minutes long. Sorry, these, these reverse plan with me's are kind of long. Okay, so we went, this is a slight variation of the previous um, layout. We got priority and top three and then the rest of stuff. So priority, use that the same orders, da da da, the main thing I need to do, then top three, again, alternating between three heart checkboxes and three hexagon checkbox flags. Um, use a little post note to remind myself that I needed to do my February reflection. And then you can see I use that same concept as far as blocking out more time with different things. This one was just writing a box around it for videos. These were using scallop half boxes, again, to work on projects or things that were gonna take a little bit more time. Camera's pretty self-explanatory. I had a coffee date with my friend Corey. Put that with a stripe hexagon, layered it with a um, coffee icon, used our uh, chevron washi to create this division here. And then down here, this first daily box section was workout, second became the kitchen stuff, and then third was my French. I just wrote in French and then used the teardrop, which is damn near the same color as this daily box, to write in the time I practiced it. Um, and then this little scallop box here is just remember to start my new GMB program. To-do list just kind of grew down here. Obviously, bill, video, batches, script weekend again, my highlights over here, and then my this week. So pretty simple. And then in the middle here, obviously, we have my monthly habit tracker that I kept with and just moved each week. This is our, all the stuff we have to do to release a batch of stickers. It is a lot of things. And then I kind of did a abbreviated version of what I had done in the previous um, week with our vertical grid. This is the 0.25 grid and I just made another daily task section and a note section. So that is that. All right, so that is my reverse plan with me, guys. So you can see I tried a few different versions of my spread. I think probably my favorite would be the priority with the to-do with these boxes. This one's probably my favorite. Um, I do want to use my bubble headers. I don't know why I didn't do that this month. I didn't use any bubble headers. I used all classic headers. But if you need some custom headers, like I said, hit up that page on our site, the custom headers section. It's technically semi-customization because it's text and color changes. Um, so yeah, this was this month. It was interesting. I don't mind this spread either. This one I can't stand. But so yeah, it was good to kind of play around with different ideas and see what worked for me. Um, some of my color combinations I really didn't like. This was a little more like two-tone but monochrome. Yeah, I don't know. I'm really excited for Blue Ridge. I like that color palette. So I'm hoping that I like my spreads better the next month. All right, guys, this one's long. Sorry it's so long. Let me know if you have questions. Let me know if you have different things you do that might be helpful for me. Like how do you use your sidebar? Um, how do you make sure you don't schedule too many things in a day? Do you do like I do and add bigger boxes to go stop trying to do so many things? So let me know your thoughts. Oh, and let me know if you want something similar like this for an insert. And my next video, guys, is going to be my February reflection. So if you like listening to me ramble about life, you can watch that. Okay, guys, hope you have a good one, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.